Hello again guys and gals, I am Jim Bob. Welcome back to the channel for another map tour. It's Smoky Mountain Logging. Early this morning, the mods went live very early this morning actually. I finished recording my episode of Fent Farm and I thought, why not? Let's just check the mods. They won't be up yet, but I'll check the mods anyway. And lo and behold, all the mods that were in testing, boom, apart from the update for Old Stream, all of the mods were released. So uh, here's the map, Smoky Mountain Logging. And this is a logging specific map. That said, we do get a little bit of strange equipment to start with. We're given a combine harvester. And uh, I'm not entirely sure why, because there isn't really anywhere, unless you can rip up this concrete, that you could actually really run a small field. Uh, we also get a cedar and a plow, uh, a little trailer, uh, and obviously this voucher as well, this N series. Uh, over here, we also have a Sanpo Rosenlu tree harvester. Uh, over here we have another Valtra N series with a logging trailer. This one with a claw to help you uh, sort of pick up and load logs. And we also have a pickup as well. Uh, where is the pickup? Here we go. Pickup is over here by the uh, petrol station around the back. So we're going to jump into the blue Valtra and take you on a little whistle stop tour. Now all of our cell points are here. So we start down here. This is also where the reset point is, uh, is down here as well. So we have right agribusiness, uh, which is our grain cell point. We have Stanton sawmill for logs and wood chips. And then we have the barn for grass, hay, straw, so on and so forth, the usual. And we also have our silo over here as well. So this is our cell point for grains. It's a nice sort of drive up and tip in kind of sell point. Got a little fuel dump just there. Obviously we have the shop just there, Morgan's Massive Motors. And here's our silo. So we have our uh, unload point just here where we uh, drop the grain in. And then we have our downpipe there to recover our grains. Barn is a nice, simple, straightforward drive through job. And then over here at the sawmill, this is uh, our wood chip area and our logging area, or our lumber area, is here. And it's not very clearly marked, but it, uh, it is kind of marked. So this is actually where we sell the logs. And we don't sell them in this bit on the ground or to the side. It's actually inside here. So you need to load the logs into this trellis here onto this uh, sort of you know conveyor system for logs uh, to actually sell your logs which is why we're given a a, uh, a claw trailer at the start there uh, and that's it for down here so we have this large open area these you could probably store lumber in if you wanted to make yourself some log piles uh, and again you know just piles of lumber as some decorative scenery placements down here but this is our starting base so this is where all of our equipment is and uh, I say it's our reset point as well and it's where all of our cell points are so let's go on a, uh, a quick tour of the map if I pull the map up for you so this is where we are here uh, there are four main staging areas uh, in the game so we have the first one down here in Devil's Canyon. Uh, we also have a second one here on the bank of Fireweed Lake. A third one just over here uh, at the bottom of the Willis Trail. And then up here is the fourth staging area. And these are uh, quite easy to navigate roads. Um, I mean, they're, they're rough terrain, but they're not too bad. They're relatively you know, traversable uh, with large equipment. Uh, so nice straightforward routes there and then these Willis trails these are really small tight twisty paths with really really rough uneven terrain so you won't get a truck up here um, the scorpion might well get up here to actually cut stuff down but in terms of transport you're going to need something smaller 
like the claw trailer that we have over there with our Valtra. So let's go on a uh, sort of a whistle stop tour around the uh, the map. So as you can see, we've got a nice sort of wide path here. It's relatively sort of uh, smooth ground. It's obviously it's very undulating, lots of ups and downs and a few little bumps here, but it's relatively straightforward and smooth. And here we have the first of the two trails. And you can see that these are really tight, sharp, twisty uh, paths. You can't get a truck up there for logging or for lumber. But this main route here, the black line that runs through, this is the main sort of path which takes you to all four of the main staging areas. So let's go and have a look at Devil's Canyon, which is the first one. And that's down here. So I'm riding outside the tractor so you can see how much it's bouncing around on the uh, on the ground. So you can see it's not too bad. It's, it's a little bumpy, but not too bad. It's a reasonably smooth ride. And we enter here into the first sort of staging area. And we've got plenty of trees of different sizes here. Some are sort of at weird angles, some are fallen down. Uh, you will occasionally find one that kind of blocks the road a little bit. Uh, so uh, this is kind of like the first sort of mini staging area over here in uh, Devil's Canyon. And uh, before we go too much further, we'll check out number two, we'll head to number three. Uh, and then we'll go up to the tower on the Willis Trail before we go and check out number four. And then from there, we'll check out the other tower on the uh, second trail. So here's the lake. Uh, this is uh, very steep and very deep. And uh, you will have to reset your vehicles if you are unfortunate enough <coughs> to drive them in there. There's just simply no way to recover them. The banks are really, really, really steep. Look how steep they are. Um, you can see they just go straight down, look. So it's very quick to just lose control of your vehicle and it just careens down that slope straight into the water. Uh, so you need to be really careful if you're you know near the edge because it will mean a reset. Your engine will get flooded and disappear really quickly. This is staging area two, it's a really small one, as you can see. But what it does do is it leads around on the uh, on the first of these trails. So I'm gonna take you on this, and you can see how much tighter and twistier and bumpier this is. And also you get trees right along the path as well. So to actually clear this route out, you actually have to cut a lot of these trees down just to be able to get through and the terrain around these sort of trail paths is really severe as well in places you get very sharp drops like this really tight really twisty and uh, if you stray just a little bit too far off then you can actually put your wheels over it into kind of a ditch or a gulch and really struggle So when you go off off road, so to speak, you know, off the main trail, you really do need to be careful. As you can see here, look, really thin, narrow path and a very steep angled drop that can easily get a tractor stuck or wedged if you're not careful. So again, you can see how much I'm bouncing around now. I'm going to pop in cab for this bit so you can see how much the cab moves up and down as we go over here. Got a nice little scenic wooden bridge here going into a sort of an, an open clearing just over there but we're going to make our way around the trail as it goes back up and loops around towards one of the towers and again you can see it's really steep in places it's really tight really twisty and again very narrow very easy to just slip off and uh, completely roll a vehicle so be very careful when you're negotiating these trails. There we 
go. As we make our way around towards the tower. There are two towers. This is the first of them. And uh, they're just, you know, very large firewatch towers and scenic placements. There's a tree that's fallen across the road, look. And I was telling you, we do see those on, on occasion. And again, look how steep this is. Really steep, really twisty, really bumpy, and really narrow. Very easy to just lose an entire load going up there. So here we go. We're at the uh, we're at the first tower, and these are just you know very large fire watch towers. There's nothing really in them. There's no uh, no uh, placements inside them. You get up the top, and they're just empty towers like this. But uh, nice, big, scenic pieces. Uh, it's good to see that we actually do have firewatch towers. You would expect to see them in, in the middle of forests like this. Obviously, to watch out for those dangerous forest fires that can sweep through the area. And now we're going to try and go down the other part of the trail, back down to the main path. And again, look how steep and tight and twisty this is and how steep those drops are if you go off the edge and we have trees right in the way that mean you either have to try and squeeze your way through or cut them down if you've got a trailer with logs on it you're gonna have to have them cut down and again you can see just how much I'm bouncing around on these trail on this trail path here And again, and a steep drop here as well, back down to the main path. And there we go. So, we're back on the opposite side of Fireweed Lake, back where we started. So let's make our way back to uh, the second staging area, and then we'll branch off and go over to the third staging area. In fact, actually, we'll go to the fourth staging area. And then we'll come back for three, and then go up the second path, the Willis Trail, to the second tower. Again, fallen tree here. There's loads and loads of wood here. Uh, this is, you know, if you're a logging fan, this is a logging paradise. You know, you've got really, really nice, beautiful terrain. Uh, lots and lots of undulation. Some, you know, lots of staging areas for you to work on. Huge amounts of trees to cut down. You know, you won't be bored on this one if you're a fan of logging. And I know a lot of people have been asking for a logging map on consoles. We finally have one. It is by FDR Logging, kind of a sort of a log map specialist on PC. It's finally been able to get one over onto consoles. And here we go. This is staging area number four. This is a really big staging area compared to some of the other ones. Nice and, and pretty flat all the way around. A couple of little bumps by the entrance, but apart from that, it's really nice. And again, you've got lots of trees on all sides up here. So plenty of, of working area up here. As well as obviously all the wood that's on the uh, on the approach paths as well. And it's a nice, you know, wide, easy access route as you can see. So this is ideal for, you know, setting those uh, logging trucks, you know, up here. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get the black sheep logging trailers in the next month or so uh, they would be absolutely perfect for this map they really would so let's just make our way up here and this is staging area number three so again it's not huge in terms of the actual area itself but plenty of lumber all around plenty of uh, space to store equipment you know to put a couple of buildings in obviously you can uh, cut some of these trees down to extend this clearing if you wanted to as well uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to take the uh, take the Willis trail over to tower number two and again I'm going to stay out of cab on this one so you can see just how treacherous this trail is in places
really steep climbs. We've got a tree across the road at the top. As we make our way around here, this is where the trees start to really encroach on the trail as well. So you have to be careful for low hanging branches on some of these trees. Just nip through that. Another fallen tree just there. Bit of a little steep drop just there as well. Bumps, uneven, twisty turns. Lots of off camber turns as well. Really easy to put a wheel wrong out here and just, you know, uh, topple your tractor over. And if you're pulling a trailer loaded with logs, then you are going to have some serious issues. Again, this is what I mean by the low hanging log uh, branches there. Some of these trees really do get right up close and personal. And here's the second tower. It's identical to the first one. Really big, impressive, imposing piece of scenery there. Very tall. And uh, let's go up and have a look at the view from up here, because it's a really nice view on this map. Absolutely beautiful view. Uh, let's go around the out the outside. You go. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. How scenic that is. You can see over there in the distance. That's our uh, home base. That's our lo uh, lumber mill by the look of it. Uh, and we'll have our sort of store and uh, over there will be our sort of grain depot and uh, cell point and I think our stores over there as well. Uh, but that looks to be the lumber mill just there. Uh, there's obviously our lake, you know, uh, fireweed lake. It's a really, really huge amount of trees, as you can see, to work with. This is a really, really nice map. And obviously some of these trees aren't rendering in, you know, as we get further towards, you would see more trees. All of this area over here, obviously there's trees all around there as well. And there's our second fire watch tower just there, look, uh, on, you know, the opposite side of the, the, the lake. So, uh, if you're a fan of logging, I think you'll really, really enjoy this map. Uh, for me, I'm not a huge fan uh, in terms of a die-hard fan of logging. I enjoy it, but I enjoy it in small doses. So, uh, I don't know whether I would have the stamina to do uh, nothing but logging for a, an extended period of time. But this is certainly a map I will be trying out. And, uh, and maybe try and do a little bit of logging every every now and again and, uh, and build up a small logging business so there we go that is the uh, the map I hope you've enjoyed this little tour and uh, I look forward to seeing you back on the channel very soon